I got a 2015 Ford Transit Connect with a 1.6 turbo P26B7 engine coolant bypass valve C control circuit open. So you put this code in here to identifix all data doesn't have anything. There's a troubleshooting pinpoint test D D1 check the valve for being fully seated. So the first thing they want you to do is take everything apart and look at it. That's not right. Then you check the resistance of the valve. So the first thing they want you to do is take it apart. And they'll say you didn't do that. They want you to disconnect it. So you're disturbing connections. So don't do that either. Check for voltage. That should be step one. Check for voltage, back probes, not disturbing any connections. And then check the valve for short to power. Put them down, that's good. Check the valve, circuit for an open, and then check the computer. Manufacturer troubleshooting tree compared to what we normally should be doing. Check for blown fuse or check for power. This should be step one, because if you have power, obviously the fuse is not blown. And then if voltage is present, you check the solenoid resistance. No, that should be the last thing we do. If solenoid test good, reconnect it and check for voltage on the yellow gray wire. That's going to be the control wire. This is power supply. Both through the solenoid, which a uh, solenoid not energized will have power in, in the coil, through the coil, out the solenoid, and at the PCM. So the voltage should be going in the solenoid, through the solenoid, out the solenoid, at the computer. Two check for voltage in and out three check resistance one shouldn't even be a thing because if you have no power obviously it's a blown fuse most likely so all right check for power on the violets with brown i'm just gonna go ahead and use the vintage pro ground Back probe. And it is located right there. Oh, there you go. It's leaking. It's cracked and leaking and shorted, maybe. We'll see if it affects the circuit electrically, but it's leaking. It needs a valve. So I'm not going to go too far into this. Check for power. In and out, possibly check a uh, computer control with a scan tool if I have that capability. And for anyone using the Vantage Pro, you have three leads. You have two ports you're gonna be using on. So obviously yellow is the yellow, the elbow. So what looks like that? This one or this one? Obviously it's this one. So you're gonna put the elbow in, not this guy. People love to put this in there I'll show you what people love to do. You will see this all day long. Do not do that. That will break your scope. If you catch this on something, whatever, like that, you're putting pressure on the port. You don't want to do that. So I take the elbow, put that there, and then this is for a ground. Now you're grounded for this channel, this channel if you needed it. But let's say you want to use an amp clamp, put it here, here's your ground. Splice in right here. Volts. Ground. Alternator. Bolt. Oh. So violet with a brown. And yellow. Back for a bit. Key on. 12 volts, shot up. So there's our voltage in to the other side. Voltage out. See 1197? 1196.
So basically all I need to know now is, is, is it being controlled? Just be thorough. Just be thorough. So I'll just show you the second ground. What do I need? I need the grounds? No, I needed a back row. So there's my second channel. What do I do with this ground? Connect it like this. Boom. So yellow is in A. This I'll go to B. Make it easy, just go to dual. So we're on amps. Go to test lead for volts. So now we got boom right there. So we do have a little voltage drop. So the yellow is power in. I can prove that. I don't want to disconnect it yet. I just want to see control. Turbo bypass. Fuck, I have no fucking control for. God damn it. So let's see if I have a data PID for it. No bi directional control for that thing. The engine coolant. Bi oh, yes. Yes. Engine coolant to bypass valve control output. I wish I had a way to bi directional control that, but I'll take it. So go. I want RPM. Engine RPM. Engine speed. Oh, right there. Looks like yellow. We have on and we have a duty cycle. This is confusing I'm not on the Pico, but uh, let me go back to lab scope. No seconds, so 500. Show you guys, we can do this on this. Oh, no, I want two channel. So there you go. Check engine light on. On. It's not doing anything. Off. I want to do it with the Vantage. Don't let me down. There we go. We got a G-Cycle. And it turned off. Turned off. Might just have to throw the Pico on here just to get a more accurate reading, but this should do it. Tells me that the computer was controlling it. So, just needs a valve. On. There's a little bit of coolant right there. Hope you guys can see that. Probably similar to those pins. Tight. Why can't you connect? One point three. That's shorted. Nine to twelve. Out of spec. Nine to twelve. Boom. Equals one point three seven. Boom. I don't like ohms, but sometimes that's the only way to tell. This is 3.84 amps. If there's a good power and good ground, she will light. 
car. On. Oh. No ground. Might be too heavy of a load. Engine running off. Got on right here, on. Nothing, no power in ground. But I have power. I have the power. This in the ground. Trigger set up. 8 volts, we're going to have 12 volts on A, we're going to have it on the power side, so I'm going to disconnect it, so it's disconnected, running, good power, good ground, I'm going to connect the valve, click, light goes off, ground goes away. Test light in circuit. Really click. So no light. Key on. Power both and then gets grounded from the PCM. So the PID. Let's see what the PID says. PID says off, so it's not gonna really tell me anything. Cool. Key on testing. So there's two things this this tells me. One that says off, so I gotta do that running, but this I can test this. Just key on. Same waveform. So it determines wrong circuitry so it's shutting the pit off but we're clearly commanded it needs a bypass valve we'll go ahead and uh talk to the customer now get it ordered hopefully and replace it i rigged it in a way i can use the vantage pro because i really wanted to show you can use that as well the pico is just 10 times easier to manipulate and view so we got zero zero lights off what i'm noticing for some reason now i go key on and it's not lighting up. 12 volts on both sides. But when I start it, lights on and green went to the ground. See yellow is high positive, green is low ground. And watch the green right. Updating, updating, updating. And over here, I'm going to plug it in. Plug it in, light goes out. And this doesn't even show the hash anymore. This ground goes away. Try both of them. So key on, on. Connect it. We got hash. We got no hash. Measuring voltage on both sides. But it's not showing that. Why not? Even when I bring it down in time base, 20 milliseconds, then I start getting it. 50. You go to one second and it's not there. 
500, not there. 200 milliseconds, then you can start to see the hash. Whereas no matter what scaling you're on on Pico, let's go all the way 5,000 seconds per division. Might have been a bit much. Let's go 2,000. 1,000. There we go. So here's five seconds. 10. Twenty, fifty. Point is, it doesn't matter. You're gonna see the hash no matter what. Whereas this thing, you get hash at 200 milliseconds. Go to one second. Oh, okay. So now we're changing our waveform. So back down to one. See, and it's going again. Lifts it off, disconnected it. Good ground, good light. Parts ordered on the way. Just look at it. There she blows. Got one hose. Got a hose and a flange. I blew in this thing and it is sealed tight. Seven to 16, they're saying. But then when you go back to the OEM, they want nine to 12. Well, new valve, front probed. 10 ohms, exactly. So throw this hose back on. Yeah, seated, throw the clamp back on with the snap on pliers and uh, test voltage. When you need three hands. Dude, Jesus fucking Christ. There we go. There we go. Get on there. Thank you. Fill the system and get back to it. That's the before. Power, ground, plug it in. Right here is just test light. So I have test light, but I'm just gonna connect it. Should work, 10 ohms. We are good. It's on a trigger. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna go key on. Test light does not light up. Power on both sides. Are we servicing that thing too, Danny, or no? No, we just did. That's why it's back for this. Test light. Positive and ground, baby. Power and ground. Huh, it is lying. Straight up lying. Still power, still ground. Yeah, that's his line. Okay, good. So I'm gonna hit live. Just do it again. But now it'll look like the waveform before 
but much different because it's fixed. And it's gonna stop before I hit stop because it's got a trigger, single page trigger. And now I'll save it. Valve disconnected. New valve. Truck is fixed. That was a kind of a fun one. Voltage and the test light was enough. The test light was my load. And voltage told me everything. And ohms, actually ohms told me quite a bit on this one. Shorted coil and high resistance on the pin. So when you plug it in, you're getting uh, no ground. So button it back together and we're done. Thank you guys. Diagnostic Dennis, out.